All right, got called out. 2013 Infiniti G G37. Windows are in op. Let's take a look. Passenger front window. Doesn't work. Passenger re rear window. Doesn't work. Driver rear window. Doesn't work. Driver front window. Only window that works. Let's take a look at the wiring diagram. All right, we have a shared power. Power window, power supply. We have two, two power supplies right there that share between all the windows. And if we look here, this is the driver side front. You can see right here, this is a module. The driver side switch is a module. Same with, let's see here. It will focus front passenger side power switch. That is also a module. So these are all modules. They all share the same power feeds. They all have their own grounds. Uh, they are all good at all the windows. All right, so since these window switches are modules, they communicate over a LIN bus network. Uh, this LIN bus network, as you can see here, the power window switch communication that comes down on the purple wire into the driver door module or window switch, the, the passenger front, and these are cut off, but the rear windows as well. So let's check that circuit. Nissan is nice enough and gives us a known good of what the signal should look like. LIN bus signal needs to be a 10 volt uh, difference. So as you can see here, it's from tw about 12, 12 volts battery voltage down to ground. Uh, so that's a 10 volt, 10 volt difference. If you look at our actual signal, we have five volts on it and you can see where it's fluctuating. So we have something bringing down the network. Let's take a look. I have disconnected the driver rear window switch and as you can see we got some crusties in there let's go check our signal now all right we got good signal got a 10 volt swing for the for the lin bus signal let's see if we got window operation passenger front window passenger rear window now works Okay, so this window switch was what was bringing down the network on this vehicle.